I'm very pleased to be here for the first time at Letcom, and I'm going to present you our paper. This is entitled Public Relations in Italy, FERPI and its Change Management Approach. And it is closely related to the main theme of this Bledcom edition um, because we have tried to analyze the recent evolution of public relations profession in Italy during these last 12 years. So, from an historical point of view, in the last 42 years, FERPI represented the larger Italian public relations community. And in its first 20 years, it performed an intense and active advocacy through papers, debates, and events. But it is from 1992 to 1994 that a crucial event in Italy, uh, it is the Manipulite scandal, clean hands, with uh, very uh, lots of cases of corruptions and the fall of political system in Italy. And in that occasion, uh, nearly 50 public relators were investigated in Italy, and some of them were all also jailed. So, um, in that occasion, the diverse FERPI leaderships in that period didn't react, and nothing has been attempted in order to enhance the credibility of our profession. So, the main research question of our paper is uh, regards uh, uh, the turning point that it is in, two, in 2000 when FERPI avoided its defensive role and turned into a proactor of change in order to accredit the profession in our country. So we consider these 12 years for a change management approach that is intended uh, as a structured approach that enhances the transition of an association from a pre-existing position to a future desired position. And we can see here the framework uh, envisioning, then boosting associative character, building drivers of change, and finally reinforcing associative assets. So until 2000, FERPI had attracted interests and aggregated members around the representation theme. But from 2000 to 2012, FERPI's leadership shifted their attention from the admission of representation to the vision of spreading the awareness of the value of public relations to stakeholders and society at large. That is to say that this new vision transforms FERPI into a hub of possible reintermediation with and amongst stakeholders groups, such as uh, journalists, FERPI's members, um, scholars, students, etc. So FERPI consciously adopted a change management model related to a communicative organization that is a concept uh, that is uh, uh, present also in the Stockholm Accords and FERPI orients its behaviors, aligning them to internal and external stakeholders through the integration in the decision-making process of the operational scenario, the creation of digital spaces of dialogue to listen to and to involve stakeholders, and contributing to the pursuit of those objectives by defining a roadmap with short and medium-term operational objectives. Finally, uh, incorporating a continued and dynamic monitoring of its license to operate. But in a nutshell, FERPI developed an advocacy process, no longer persuasive, but convincing, boosting an associative character according to recent rationalizations of the building beliefs concept. And above all, FERPI adopted during the last 12 years a strategic management approach. So uh, we have here the drives of change. So these are four pillars of change that represents the essence of FERPI. The professional responsibility, that is to say that first piece members are, are aware that every action produces consequences. And FERPI would not protect in any case the interests of its members when they are in contrast with those of their respective stakeholders. Then a global perspective. FERPI has been during these years 
uh, one of the more active association uh, at international level, uh, for instance, through the organizations of, uh, through the organization of the two World Public Relations Forum, forums in Rome and Trieste, and uh, through some of its members that had become active international players. And then the stakeholder advocacy, this is one of the most important points of our paper. FERPI adopts, uh, it adapts itself according stakeholder expectations and promoted a transition from PR intended as influence to public relations intended as a shared creation of the value of relationships. And finally, we find here the network value uh, according to uh, Castell's books, that, that is that we can find the value of the profession within the relationships between FERPI and its stakeholders. These are three major assets that illustrate clearly the variety of FERPI or FERPI's activities. First of all, the public website which includes an internal social network and is considered, according to Doc Survey, one of the most reputed professional association websites in Italy. And it hosts many different debates and various points of view, sometimes in opposition. And uh, it stimulates the debate between visitors that are journalists, therapists, members, managers, scholars, and practitioners. The second asset is the Oscar di Bilancio. This is the most important recognition in Italy in the field of corporate reporting. And uh, it has contributed during uh, the last 50 years to strengthen transparency and is now leading the road towards integrated reporting that, as it has been said yesterday, um, it is an ongoing multi-channel stakeholder differentiated reporting process and the Oscar di Bilancio devises specific awards, for example, um, the, the best uh, environmental reporting or the best social reporting, the best web report. And the third asset is represented by a strategic focus on lifelong learning from two perspective, perspectives. The practitioner, uh, the practitioner perspective and fairly organized Every, organizes every year a continued professional training for different courses and a student scholar's perspective. Uh, a consulta education was formed, chaired by Professor Invernizzi, um, and this is a special project whose aims is, are to create partnerships with Italian universities and promote PR courses and masters and also organize meetings between public relations practitioners and students. So, how to monitor the associative license to operate? We have identified three perspectives. From a media perspective, um, a research by Italian scholar Schiara Valentini underlined a gap in Italy between how public relators perceive their own role and how journalists perceive public relators. And she concludes um, to, uh, um, uh, to uh, underline the, the need to explain the transition that profession has led these years to journalists. From a societal perspective, uh, FERPI participated to the implementation of the Stockholm Accords. We have organized uh, many activities with 40 members of the association um, and ad addressed these activities to key stakeholders in Italy, such as uh, the political community or uh, uh, business community or educational community. Then, this is our last question, the question of today. Is it now time for another change? Um, after a change area um, consider that we can consider as a golden dawn of the acknowledgement of the value of public relations in Italy, the profession is now redefining its operational perimeters. According also to new aspects of the external scenario in Italy, uh, we can think about 
um, polit uh, political situation and societal situation in Italy now. But the main aim of the association is to maintain uh, listening and involvement of stakeholders that it is to be uh, the number one priority. And thank you for your attention.